take a look at this. I can control two completely different PCs just by using one mouse. I can also use one keyboard to type on either one of these separate PCs. I can copy and paste content between the PCs, and I can even drag and drop files between these PCs. Hi everyone, Kevin here. So how did I do this? Well, it's magic. Mouse, Magic Mouse. That's the name of the product, or at least the original name. All right, let's check out how you can pull this off. To get Magic Mouse, or what's now referred to as Mouse Without Borders, you can click on the link up above or down below in the description. And this is an official Microsoft app that was launched through the Garage. The Microsoft Garage is an incubation program where employees from across Microsoft can come together in their spare time to work on their passion projects, and you get to benefit from it. In fact, when I was at Microsoft, I launched a product called Find Time, and that also went through the garage. On the website, click on the download text, and on the next page, click on download again. You'll need to download and install on every single PC where you want this to work. And you'll need at least two Windows-based PCs, and you can install it on up to four PCs. Once you finish installing the app, you'll see the Getting Started Guide. On your main computer, click on No, and this will generate a new security key. It'll also show you your computer name. Next, go on to your second PC, install the app, and then here too you'll see the Getting Started Guide. This time, click on Yes, and now you can enter in the security code. Once you enter in your security code, it'll connect the two computers together. Once they're connected, you can now click on Done and you'll see the main app interface. Now check this out. I can now move my mouse between these two different computers. Here I can click into Notepad on one of my computers and I can type something in. But now I can move my mouse over to my other computer, click into Notepad, and here too I can type something in, all using the same keyboard. I could also copy text from Notepad, and I could paste that into the Notepad on my other computer. Or here, I could also drag and drop a file from one computer over to my other computer. And you can do this with files up to 100 megabytes in size. Within the main app interface, here I can position the monitors where I want them to appear. And this will affect how I get the mouse from one monitor over to another monitor. I could also check this box that says two rows, and this way I could place one monitor on top of another. And here you'll see that I can set this up with up to four separate computers. Let's click on the Other Options tab, and here you'll see a bunch of different options that you can configure. If you hover over any one of these, you'll see a tooltip that explains what this option does. That is pretty cool. For this to work well, you'll have to make sure that you have a relatively fast internet connection for all of your different computers, otherwise you might get some stuttering or some lag. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.